Guingamp have been bottom of the Ligue 1 Conferama since week three of the season. Jocelyn Govenec's side continue their remarkable quest to remain in the championship. A win in this match against Dijon could see them leapfrog their opponents if other results go their way. Dijon, beaten 4-0 in midweek by Paris, have only picked up one point in their last seven games. Antoine Camboire's team continue to free fall down the standings. Goals, a real issue for Dijon, only two in their last seven matches. Despite the dire statistics, it was the visitors who threatened first with an absolutely outrageous attempt from Usama Haddadi. And a good save by Kayar in goal. Another chance for Dijon shortly afterwards. Jeannot going just over with his header. And then Jeannot once again called into action. This time with a much more audacious attempt flying over the crossbar. Antoine Convoire is Dijon dominating the early exchanges between both teams. The ball falling kindly for Marie, who chanced his luck from range. Forcing Kayar into a save, but one that you would expect the goalkeeper to make. Unfortunately, Gargan's Luca Dor was forced off injured. Dor, who has struggled with injuries this season, was visibly distraught at having to go off. 0 0 at half time. The home side producing very little in the opening 45 minutes. After the break, Dijon continued to threaten as wave after wave of white shirts attacked the Gangon goal. But every time, a lack of accuracy or an unstoppable Kaya got into the way. Marcus Turam then had Gangon's first significant chance, but it was a comfortable save. Bobiana getting down well. Ludovic Blas came on the substitute, replacing Benizet. And it would be a significant moment in the match as the referee pointed to the penalty spot. Checking with VAR. Bobiana clattering into Marcus Turam. Upstead Blas. And 1-0 for Guingamp in the 86 minutes. Govenec's team keeping their dreams alive of remaining in the Ligue 1 Conferama. The goal scorer Blas, who gave Dijon one final opportunity. No offside, the ball comes to Julio Tavares. And the Dijon striker blasting over the one man you'd have wanted that chance to fall to, and he misses. Gangor move off the bottom of the championship since week three of the season and the end of August. Dijon are now penultimate in the league.